I enabled every add-on that's built into Blender to make sure that I found the best five add-ons for you. Okay, I didn't really do that. But wouldn't it be romantic if I did? But you didn't come to a sit-down comedy show, so let's jump into it. Let me give you the best five built-in add-ons that come with Blender. Okay, so if you want to know how to install add-ons that are built in, just go preferences and then you just search for what you want. You can see these are all the built-in add-ons. So first one, Node Wrangler, this one over here. Okay, check it. Let me show you how to use it. Okay, so there are a couple of ways to use Node Wrangler, but I'm going to show you one way. So what you're going to do, go to shading, so yeah, okay, so go world, okay, so let's say I want to add an HDRI, so shift A, bottom and texture, open, plug this, let me just find one, okay, okay, let's say now, I've got a view, so let's say you want to use Node Wrangler, click on this, so click on the environment texture and then go control T. You can see what you want to do is plug this like that and it's got a layout. Okay, now let's say I want to move the sky around. So you can rotate it like that. You can see and then you can go to Z, so you can go 50. You can see it moves it around. But this can also be used on materials, can be used on numerous things. So when you add an object and you want to customize it, you can use a Node Wrangler add-on to change different things. I'm not going to go too much into detail for this, but if you want a full video on the Node Wrangler add-on, let me know. I'll make it. Okay, next add-on is the trial lighting add-on. So this will light the scene. So you can see, I've got a scene here, but it's dark. And I want to light it quickly, so same thing, edit preferences, type in try, and this is it here. Okay, just enable it, then how to use it, click on object, go shift A, go to lights, three point lights, enable it, and then all you got to do, you can see key lights, so click here, just bring it up to like, 500, then you can play with the full art, maybe like 50, back light, 25, you can see you've really lit the scene. So that will save you having to add a light like manually, so if you want to go shift A, add area light, then what you're going to do is go G, bring it up, you know what I mean, and then duplicate nobody got time for that. Add-on number three, let me show you, yeah, it's called Int Landscape, just type in Landscape, and then add this one, select it, then how to use it, is just go Shift A, go to Mesh, go here to Landscape, zoom in, and you can see, if I go down here, you get different types of landscapes and if you don't like it let's say you want you can randomly generate a new one you can see uh, we can get a river just one thing to note if you click out of here so let's say i click you can't go back and change it okay so make sure you know what you want before you click away but you can see how easily it creates a landscape for you and then what you can do is just shift A, make it bigger then this can be your water and this can be your landscape really easily create landscapes so you obviously have to add materials to it so you can see if I go here it doesn't have any materials on it but can seriously just if you've got an add-on like polygonic you can see I've got 
Yeah, cross, basic, added, cross, and then this can be water. Okay. Okay, add on number four. If I go here, yeah, preferences, just type in images. It's this one, yeah. Import images as planes, and then how to use it. So let's say you go shift A, and you go down here to image, and you click here. Now, what you can do is bring in an image. Let's say I want this image, for instance. Obviously, it's not going to look so cool. You click on it, click on emit, and then just click here, and this is what it is. So now, what you can do is go here, G, and then S to scale. Let's get a little bit more. Cool. Now, let's go here. And then just you can see it brings in that image as a plane. Then you can scale it, and you can do cool stuff. So this is obviously not the best example for it, but it works pretty well if you want to lock, like add lock, like maybe buildings from afar or a sky or anything. You know, instead of this, you could add like a beautiful sky clouds if you if you don't have like a nice hdri and number five the last one is this one sapling chi generator so just enable it and then you just go shift a look for curve and go yeah and this adds trees so then what you do is click yeah okay and then if you want to change the tree so it's a different one you just go Hello. Change to that. That was the old one. And you can add leaves. Branch radius, so you can change this. Make it wider. You can have fun with it. One thing to note is that let's go here. This has no like materials on it, so if I click here. But yeah, let's see, you can see, you have to add your own material, like a, like a bar kind of material, but that's not too difficult. And then, or what you can do is just add it in the background, if you have like a big scene. So these are the five best add-ons that are built into Blender. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.